Hello, my name is Lauren Sanders, and I'm a staff scientist with NASA Gene Lab. Today I'll be talking about evaluation of batch vector correction methods for space biology RNA sequencing data. Thank you to the organizers for giving me the opportunity to present our work. NASA Gene Lab is an open source, publicly available repository for space flight and space relevant experimental omics data, mainly for model organisms. The repository is searchable by several factors, including organism and assay type, to find relevant data sets. GeneLab also hosts a visualization suite with several data image tools, including PCA, volcano plot, and heat map. Our current work focuses on understanding and mitigating technical batch effects in a specific type of space omics data, RNA sequencing. To better understand the presence of batch effects in space biological RNA sequencing data, we combined seven gene lab RNA sequencing data sets from space flown and ground controlled mouse liver. As you can see, these data sets come from experiments flown on several different flight missions, and the RNA sequencing libraries were prepared with two different library preparation methods, polyadenylation and ribodepletion. We highlight these two technical factors because after a review of PCA plots, we found that they contribute, contribute most strongly to batch effects in the combined data sets. Here, we evaluate the effectiveness of five different popular batch effect correction tools, COMBAT, COMBAT-SEQ, and three tools from the MBatch suite from MD Anderson, Empirical Bayes, ANOVA, and Median Polish. We evaluate the performance of these correction methods using six, six different criteria. Batch QC, PCA, dispersion separability criterion, which describes the clustering within versus between batches, correlation of log fold change between flight and ground control samples across all data sets, and the comparison of differentially expressed genes between flight and ground control within each data set before and after correction or across all data sets. We implemented a scoring function categorization to evaluate each combination of correction methods and batch variables. For example, combat correction of the library preparation variable. A simplified description of our scoring method is shown here. Imagine each of these two dimensions represents a specific evaluation criterion. In reality, we have six, but only two are shown. Now, suppose each point on this plot represents a competing method variable pair. As you can see, each pair's performance changes somewhat depending on the criteria you use. We can then consider all linear criteria trade-off functions. There is an infinite number of these functions, but I'm only showing two here. Our goal is to find which point or method variable pair maximizes or optimizes the given trade-off function. So for example, these two functions maximize these two points. We can then calculate the percent volume of trade-offs optimizing each candidate, which helps us quantify the contribution from each evaluation criteria. Our initial results shown in this table indicate that COMBAT outperforms other methods. COMBAT, correcting for the library preparation variable, was assigned over 34% volume followed by combat seek, correcting for library preparation, and then combat again, correcting for the mission variable. This batch effect correction pipeline will be publicly available to users in Gene Lab's upcoming multi-study analysis and visualization portal. Users will be able to select data sets and samples, and if they wish to bypass the correction and go straight to multi-study analysis, that's possible. Otherwise, users can evaluate the presence of batch effects using PCA, manually select the variable or variables for correction, or the variable with the highest principal component one value will be automatically selected. The user can select correction methods, or the default is to try all five. The scoring function categorization is run, and the method variable pair with the highest volume is selected automatically unless the user makes a manual selection. The data are then corrected and fed into multi-study analysis. 
In conclusion, I would like to thank the Gene Lab Data Processing and Data Systems teams, my co-authors, the Gene Lab Analysis Working Group members for their feedback and our funding.